Welcome to the On Demand Module 2, Teaching Success with National Geographic Science Kindergarten. This is one of five On Demand modules to help get you started using National Geographic Science or NG Science. My name is Angela Terry, National Consultant with National Geographic Learning, and I will be your presenter for this session. As I've said before, this is one of five on-demand training modules to help prepare you to use National Geographic Science in your classroom. Hopefully, you've already completed Module 1, Start the Year Off Right with NG Science. If not, you may want to stop this session and view it now. If you will be teaching first or second grade or third through fifth grade, be sure to view those modules as well. If you will be using the exam view CD-ROM with grades 1 through 5, be sure to view module 5 to help get you started. In this session, we will be taking a thorough look at instruction in NG Science Kindergarten. We will begin by reviewing the NG Science student and teacher components. Then we'll get into the instruction for the unit launch and the big ideas. Next, we'll take a detailed look at read informational text instruction as well as the write and wrap up section. And finally, we'll take a quick look at the NG Science assessment tools you'll have available for each unit. So let's begin with a review of the components you will receive for each unit. As a reminder, in kindergarten, all print components for each unit will be housed in a kit like you see here. All of your big books and big idea cards will be found here in the back of the kit. This drawer contains all of your teaching materials and all of the student books are here. There are three units available for kindergarten, Earth, Life, and Physical, and each of those units has two parts as you see here. For each unit, students will be working with Big Ideas, Big Books, one per part, a Science Inquiry Write On Wipe Off Big Book, they will also have access to six Become an Expert books per unit or three for each part. These books tie directly to the big ideas and are presented at three reading levels allowing differentiation for students at all levels. And then six Explore on Your Own books, three per part, for each unit which are also leveled. Pause this session and take a few moments to explore the student components for your grade level. Once you are done exploring, just click the play button and the session will resume. As for the teacher components, you will have one teacher's edition for each unit. The Big Ideas Big Book and Big Idea Cards will guide your instruction for each unit. A Science Inquiry Big Book and Write About Science Big Book are also provided to guide the inquiry and writing lessons. You will also have Learning Masters and an Assessment Handbook for each unit. Each unit also has its own complete Science Inquiry Kit that contains a class set of many of the materials you will need for every inquiry activity in that unit, but this is a separate purchase. Each unit in NG Science always follows the same instructional path for kindergarten. You'll always begin with the unit launch and setting up the science notebook. Then you move on to the big ideas instruction for the first topic. As you can see, each topic is broken down into multiple sections. Once you complete all sections for topic 1, students read the informational text for topic 1. The cycle then repeats itself for Topic 2. The unit ends with a write and wrap up instruction which covers the content of both topics combined. Now let's dive in and see what this instruction really looks like. 
For this session, I will be using the Life Science Unit as an example, but everything I share will be applicable to all kindergarten units. If you focus on the purpose of each lesson rather than the specific content, you will be able to easily apply what you learn to the level you are working with because each unit follows the same pattern. The unit launch connects what students are learning to real scientists who are working out in the field. You will begin each unit by introducing the students to the scientists and sharing the Think Like a Scientist quote. Share the key information about the video from the teacher's edition, then watch the video with the students. There are discussion questions and are provided within the teacher's editions. And the last step of the unit launch is to send home the science at home letter so students can share with their family what they are learning. After the unit launch, it's time to dig into the Big Ideas content. Each unit will begin with an Explore activity. As a reminder, the Module 1 On-Demand Training, Start the Year Off Right with NG Science, includes a detailed description of each level of inquiry. Be sure to watch it before you begin using NG Science if you've not already done so. Following the Explore activity, each topic begins with the same two lessons. The first one is Lesson 2A, Preview and Predict. Begin by introducing the Big Ideas Big Book and reviewing the Big Idea question using the flap from the Big Ideas Big Book. Then preview the contents page of the Big Ideas Big Book and help students make a connection to the Big Idea. Step 3 has you previewing and predicting the first section with the students by looking at the photographs and scanning the text, captions, and labels, then using the probing questions provided in the teacher wrap. In the bottom of the teacher wrap, you will have reminders of the digital library and integrated technology. Now it's time to move on to Lesson 2B, where you'll be using the Big Idea and Vocabulary cards. You're going to begin with the front of the card by introducing the Big Idea question for Section 1. You'll use the front of the card to teach new content vocabulary. When teaching vocabulary, whether it be content or process words, you'll always use the same routine. Pronounce the word explain its meaning using the photo and definition provided in the teacher wrap, and encourage elaboration by asking probing questions. You will repeat the process for each new vocabulary word. In the teacher wrap, you'll see differentiated instruction opportunities for vocabulary support are always provided for your English language learners at all proficiency levels as they discuss the new vocabulary. On the back of the Big Ideas card, it's time to sing a song about the topic. This song is meant to help the students remember the vocabulary words they've just learned and their definitions. As you can see by the Sing With Me icon here, you can easily download and play a recording of the song. After students have heard and sung the song a few times, teach some variations of the song by replacing various words. This allows students the opportunity to use all of the vocabulary words they've just learned. National Geographic Science also provides learning masters for students to practice the new vocabulary and these can be added to the science notebook. The next lesson is an introduction that will only take place at the beginning of each topic. Begin by building background using the photos provided and asking questions. Then read the introduction aloud and discuss. Finally, assess students' grasp of the science content by asking the questions provided. This lesson also includes differentiated support for English learners as they participate in the discussion. 
Now it's time for the interactive read aloud, which always follows the same pattern. Introduce, teach, and assess. The number of pages in each section varies, so sometimes you will see before you move on prompts rather than assess. This helps you assess what students have learned from two pages of content rather than the entire section like the assess section does. At the end of each section, there is a wrap up and review. This begins with a review of the big idea question. You then move on to a concept review, which includes any text features or other reading skills they've been working with. And finally, you have the opportunity to assess students' learning. And a review of the science vocabulary is also included, and students can put this information in their science notebooks. Each section will follow the same pattern as you see here, and within each unit there will be three separate sections. Pause the session and take a few moments to look through the remaining pages of the topic or part you are exploring and identify a few teaching supports. Stop when you reach the conclusion page. Once you are done, just click the button and the session will resume. Now that you've had some time to explore on your own, I'd like to point out a few key features I hope you've discovered. Science misconceptions are provided to clarify things students and sometimes even teachers may have a misconception about. Math and science references provide an opportunity to think like a science in relationship to math. Science in a SNAP are activities that you can do to help your students understand the science concept at hand without getting materials out of the kit. In 30 seconds or less, you have an activity that is ready to go and engaging as well. Raise Your PsyQ is an opportunity to raise the bar a little and share some additional information with your students as it relates to the content they are studying. And hopefully you've noticed the various text features throughout the interactive read aloud instruction. After you've completed all sections in the topic or part, the last lesson is the conclusion. Here you will review and discuss the big idea questions with students before assessing their understanding. As you can see in the bottom part of the teacher wrap, this is the point where you would deliver the Big Ideas test for part of the unit. Now that we've looked at the instruction for the unit launch and the chapters, let's move to the blue tab, Read Informational Text. This section focuses on connecting science and literacy and helps students move deeper into the content at their own instructional level. Connecting science and literacy is a key aspect of the National Geographic Science Program. There is a synergistic effect of learning science content through informational text literacy activities. The end result is that both science and content reading skills improve. Teaching students reading comprehension strategies can help them access science content and support their scientific inquiries. National Geographic Science for Kindergarten focuses on two key reading comprehension strategies. Before and during reading, students preview and predict by looking over the text, forming ideas about how the text is organized and what it says, and confirming ideas about how the text is organized and what it says. This strategy will always be taught in the first part of the unit. Students monitor and fix up during reading by thinking about whether the text is making sense and how it relates to what they already know and identifying and clearing up comprehension problems. This strategy will be taught in the second part of the unit. Each of these strategies is taught using a five-step gradual release instructional model. 
Based on a gradual release of responsibility, teachers initially assume all of the responsibility for using a particular strategy, then they fade out as students fade in and assume responsibility for using the strategies. The first step is to describe the strategy by explaining what the strategy is and how to use it. Step two is to model the strategy, showing students how to use the strategy by talking aloud as you read. Next, collaboratively use the strategy by working with students to jointly apply the strategy. Step four is to guide application of the strategy. This is where we gradually release responsibility to small groups of students to use the strategy. And step five is to support independent application of multiple strategies. Continue releasing responsibility to students as they use the strategy when they are reading independently. As I mentioned, the five-step model is a gradual release model. The first three steps are meant to be delivered in a whole group setting. Step four is meant to be small group instruction using the Become an Expert books. And step five is meant for independent practice using the Explore on Your Own books. There is a two-page mini-lesson to teach each strategy using one of the Become an Expert books. Each mini-lesson takes you through the steps one, two, and three of the five-step model. Step four of our five-step model is guiding students' application of the strategy as they read their Become an Expert book. The Become an Expert book repeats the same big ideas and academic vocabulary from the Big Ideas book and provides students an opportunity to reinforce and expand upon what they've learned in the Big Ideas book. The Become an Expert book allows students to read about a particular topic at their instructional reading level, become an expert, and then come back to the whole group to share and compare as the expert on their topic with the other groups. There are low, medium, and high Become an Expert books for each unit as indicated by the color coding and rectangles. You can group your students by reading level, interest, or mixed collaborative groups. These leveled books are carefully crafted with exceptional photography and design that you would expect from National Geographic, and they can also be used in the language arts block for science reinforcement. Your teacher's guide includes detailed instruction for each Become an Expert book, and it includes accessing the science content and differentiated instruction options are provided here as well. After students have read their Become an Expert books, they will then share and compare what they learned with others in the class by turning and talking, reading, writing, and or drawing. This is a great opportunity to have students use their science notebook and or MyNG Connect digital library to find pictures or video clips to help them share more about their new area of expertise. In your teacher's editions, you will also have access to additional information about different science careers. You'll notice that these are the scientists they have seen throughout the unit, beginning with the unit launch video. And finally, step five of the Read Informational Text model asks students to independently use multiple strategies. They will apply these strategies using the Explore on your own books. These books are written at an independent reading level for students, but students may want to select the most interesting one despite its readability. Each Explore on Your Own book focuses on one big idea and includes one to two vocabulary words covered in the Big Ideas book and the Become an Expert books. They are fresh, fun, and engaging for students, and the content has compelling visuals, great storytelling, many times a celebration of culture. 
They allow students to practice what they have learned previously as they continue to unlock the big ideas of science. In your teacher's edition, you'll also have additional information on ways to tie your Explore on Your Own books directly to the science content. Pause the session and take a few moments to explore the Read Informational Text section. Can you see how this additional reading provides an opportunity to deepen students' science content knowledge even more as they focus on one big idea? Remember, once you are done, just click the play button and the session will resume. Once you've completed the Read Informational Text section for Topic 1, it's time to repeat the Big Ideas instruction and Read Informational Text instruction for Topic 2. Remember, you will be using the same Teacher's Edition, but a new Big Ideas book. After completing the Big Ideas and Read Informational Text instruction for both topics, we're ready to look at the last part of the unit, the Write and Wrap Up instruction located behind the purple tab. We'll begin with a writing instruction. First, students will learn about the genre of writing they will be doing. This will either be nonfiction narrative, expository, persuasive, or procedural. Then, using the Write About Big Book as a read aloud, you will do a first reading focusing on science content and a second reading focusing on the genre and writer's craft. After the readings, students will work on their writing projects. In teaching the genre, you'll cover the author's purpose, one or two text structures, and a text feature. The Read Aloud begins with an introduction and an opportunity to tap the student's prior knowledge. Then, instruction is provided for both reading purposes. When the reading is complete, students begin their writing projects. There are a few options to choose from. Finally, it's time to wrap up the unit and this will be either a whole group or small group activity. Pause the session and take a few moments to explore the Write and Wrap Up section. Do you see how National Geographic Science provides opportunities for students to develop their scientific writing? Remember, once you are done, just click the play button and the session will resume. Okay, now that we've seen how the big ideas are taught, let's take a look at the tools you have available to assess student learning. National Geographic Science offers frequent, varied assessments that inform instruction every step of the way. With National Geographic Science assessments, teachers can easily monitor students' progress toward understanding the big ideas of life, earth, and physical science. We'll begin with the Assessment Handbook. The Assessment Handbook for each unit includes Big Idea Tests and Inquiry Rubrics and Inquiry Self-Reflections to assess students' performance on inquiry activities. All of these tools are also available on MyNG Connect. As you assess your students, it is important to track exactly which standards they are mastering. You can do this by using the tracking tools available in each assessment handbook. There is a student profile and answer key sheet for each Big Ideas test. And you can keep track of all of the test scores using the class profile sheet for each unit. Let's look at a quick example. Once your students complete the Big Idea test, use the student profile and answer key sheet to record their progress. As you can see here, the answer key is provided right on each student's profile sheet. In this example, one of the questions is rubric-based. So the rubric is provided as well. 
Once you've completed the first part of your profile sheet, you will move on to the second page, which will show you exactly which objectives the students has mastered and which ones they may need a little more practice with. In this example, it's clear that Marco needs to continue to work on describing how the seasons affect the behavior of plants, or Objective 1.5.16. Congratulations! You've almost completed this on-demand module for National Geographic Science. In this session, we started off by briefly reviewing the program components. Before taking a detailed look at the instructional design of each unit, including the unit launch and the Big Ideas instruction. We then looked at the Read Informational Text and Write and Wrap Up instruction. And finally, I shared the assessment tools you have available as well as the unit wrap-up. Here are some next steps to think about before viewing your next session. View the unit launch and videos on MyNG Connect to become familiar with the scientists. Study the instruction for your next unit. And plan some time to view the remaining on-demand modules related to your grade level. Also, please take a moment to view the evaluation on the next slide. Thank you for attending. Don't forget to check the Attachments tab on the left side of the screen for your Certificate of Completion and check back soon for your next module.